JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing a stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brook Stone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. For several years, trainer John Bassett enjoyed a great run here in Rio Dosa. He won the All-American Futurity twice and scored three victories in the rainbow. But more recently, the grade one train has jumped the tracks. So when he qualified just before dawn to the Rainbow Derby for longtime clients Kim Kessinger and the Eves family, Bassett was ready to celebrate. It was a thrill, believe me. I, uh, it's been a while since we've been in a grade one. I called Kim and he wouldn't answer the phone. I called Lila and she didn't answer the phone either. And I told him, I said, hey, somebody answer the phone. We've made a grade one down here. It's been like 14 years since we've been there. I want to talk about it. A slight exaggeration, maybe, but prolonged dry spells can play on a person's mind. Ball players have been known to try just about anything to break a slump. How about horse trainers? Oh, it's terrible, you know. Uh, you know, and I just I hate to deviate. It's just something that I've been successful at, and you don't want to change those deals, but you do, you get no results from it, and uh, you know it's very hard to keep from doing something. Silly. Then there is Mike Joyner, who ranked in the top 12 nationally for seven straight years. Then in 2010, he slipped to 24th and recently went through a spell of several months in which he didn't win a race, any race. We really had a pretty good dry spell, but it's uh, hopefully it's turning around. Like Bassett, Joyner knows the temptation to try to shake things up. Yeah, you, you might kind of tend to question things, but uh, you know, you just got to remember what you were, you were doing the same thing when you were, you know, when you were winning a lot. So, you know, just don't change anything, keep the faith and keep working hard. Part of the Joyner turnaround is a Rainbow Derby spot for DM streaking through fire. He cost just $5,000, but earned over $200,000 as a two-year-old. In his second start this year, DM streaking through fire raced in the middle of the track against Bodacious Dash on the rail. He finished second while recording the fifth fastest qualifying time, and Joyner was pleased with what he saw. Yes, I was. I was real pleased. I thought the horse ran a really good race. Uh, he kind of hopped away from the gates a little bit. Didn't get a, just a really good go away from there, and, and uh, you know, that probably cost him a little bit. Uh, but fortunately, we, you know, he went ahead and qualified, so hopefully we'll have a little better go in the finals. Bassett was also happy with Just Before Dawn, who was a narrow winner of her trial heat. It was a particularly good effort for her first start of 2011. My son sent me this uh, filly from L.A. We've had her here for about a month and a half, and, and uh, he done most of the work on her. But uh, that may run a good race. She hadn't had an out since December. And, uh, I was concerned about her being a little short, but she's always showed back in uh, her two-year year that she wanted to run on the end of them races, and it was a great opportunity to run a quarter of a mile. Neither horse will be favored on Saturday, but both trainers appreciate the opportunity at hand in one of the toughest derby fields on record. You know, I was blessed uh, to really have a lot of good horses right in a period of six, eight years, and I can tell you now I didn't appreciate them enough. And... Uh, uh, we're going to appreciate this a lot. So, you know, it's a great thing to be in there and a great, great set of horses to be running against. You know, the uh, feather in the hat to be able to win something like this, this, this field of horses. Whoever wins this derby, uh, with the quality of horses that's in this, everything will have to go perfect for them. This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.